Look ahead and anticipate. Three principles that can be solid grounds for hope. See, I am doing a new thing, now it springs up, do you not perceive it? We look ahead and probably unable to see a brighter year. These days, hardly can we find solid grounds to anchor our hope for the future. Here are three principles that can be solid grounds for hope. First, abide in the word of God. God's word is our standard. The world can offer us its own standards with articulate assurances in securing our future. It just like an eye-catchy advertisement I read promoting a certain health product, money-back guarantee, supported by testimonials. It's the contrary to biblical principles, now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. I would like to paraphrase it, what the mind believes as proclaimed by God on his word, the eyes will see and the ears will hear. There is always hope in the word of God. Second, acknowledge the will of God. God's will is our security. I can't believe if anyone would claim that there is one place in this planet that is trouble free. Maybe man can make a place that is tax free and pollution free but I doubt that a trouble free place can be made. Trouble stems, primarily, from within the individual. The fortress of God's will does not always entail a pleasant ambience. It could be a place of poverty and prosperity but the presence of God is acknowledged. It could be an endeavor of gain or pain but the praise of God is magnified. There is always hope in the will of God. Third, apply the wisdom of God. God's wisdom is our strategy. Wisdom from God is best described as the appropriate application of God's precepts and principles according to the perfect plans and purposes of God himself. The wisest man that ever lived on this planet declares that the fear of the Lord is the fountain of wisdom and understanding. Any scheme and strategy that reveres God as the sovereign being who rules the entire galaxies are classified under divine wisdom. There is always hope when the wisdom of God is applied. Hope is a very rare virtue. Hope gives us the ability to hear in our souls a melodious harmony that would cause our faint bodies to dance into its rhythm even what is audible to our ears is a macabre howling of the afflicted. God's word, God's will and God's wisdom are sure anchors of hope, a hopeful heart is a rock foundation of life's contentment.